all right hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you uh, this video just to answer someone look like he is possessed with uh, with Muhammad and yet he claimed to be Christian and that explain why all his followers in YouTube they are Muslims uh, this means a person his name dr. Greg I don't know who is he but you know look like a kid who get a degree first of all when somebody try to teach about something either you have a knowledge or you shut up but to quote from here and from there and that yet you you claim that you have a knowledge that is very stupid of you if you go to his page and please after I finish this video I encourage you all of you to download the video and share it everywhere I'm not here to insult this gentleman I do not know him but I am here to insult the stupidity not the person if you see this guy he keep posting and he posts nothing but about Islam as if he's a Muslim which is fishy however if you see what he posts, you know I mean he he posts nothing negative about Islam everything about Islam is positive uh, uh, look what he caught for us Prophet Muhammad a protected ethnic and religions minorities with all his might far far cry from Trump approach I mean how big fat liar you are Muhammad he said you see here we don't we don't give speeches not like this uh, dummy you know not like this dummy we are not the same let me show you how Muhammad he he protected minority you liar stupid idiot I'm sorry to say the word is stupid because that insult is stupidity <laughs> you see guys we are the ones who own those countries this is my land we are the Christian there this is our land and do you know what the Muslims did they protected the minority and how they protected the minority they killed us all or we have to pay the jizya read with me what Muhammad he said I heard the message of Allah saying I will certainly expel the Jews and the Christians from the Arabian Peninsula so as to leave only Muslims and this donkey he says to us that the Prophet he protected the minority isn't it the Quran in chapter 9 verse 29 says kill them kill the Christians and the Jews isn't it the hadith confirmed that Muhammad he slaughtered 900 Jews in one day when Muhammad he said I am going to expel the Christians and the Jews is that because he protect the minority can you believe it how scam those people are I want you please after we finish to download this video and share it with everybody don't fool yourself by somebody he claimed to have a PhD they are donkeys your PhD is a PhD of a donkey let us continue dr. Greg said Oh mankind have we created you from male and female and made you into nation and tribe so that you might know each other well you see you you know you mr. Greek obviously you are under the influence of the stupidity and Muslims they are caught him and pasting for you and you have no idea what this verse is about this verse actually is not about humanity it is the opposite it's about to encourage Muslims to kill to kill anyone who is from this humanity who don't agree with them and to prove this point let us go and see again we don't say things with no proof we don't do that this is the behavior of donkeys and we are not donkeys humanity right hmm. let us see the humanity <laughs> humanity <laughs> all right this is the humanity you see the mankind the Muslims are the best of mankind how they are the best of mankind read carefully with me potato Greek this is what the Muslims believe and this is their religion and this is their cult the one you are trying to defend you liar or you're ignorant in, in the best scenario you are the best of people so here we go you quote for me a verse saying that benefit of mankind and a human and tribe to know each other let us so let us see how they knew each other hmm? how the Muslim they practice a humanity you are the best of people ever raised for the four up and between two bracket which means this is not in the Quran this is addition the benefit of mankind and I am just reading for the honesty as it is as the Muslim translate 
chapter 3 verse 110 the best for mankind are yeah are who are those who bring them with the chain around their necks till they embrace Islam and thereby save them from the internal punishment of the hellfire and this stupid idiot he says to us that the Quran says that you know we created you as a tribe and you know and ethnic and humanity uh, to know each other do you see how they fool you I believe this guy is a victim of stupidity because nobody is educating those people and this is why we are here you see guys this is what happened if you have a child he grow up and nobody around him teach him about this cult this guy obviously he is flooded by Muslims and he is under the influence I will not be surprised if sooner or later he become a Muslim because obviously he think Muhammad is a wonderful man this is what he think so he flood us with lies in the same page if when I go down he, he show us that uh, the Pope said uh, uh, he don't think Islam is uh, uh, you know is influenced by uh, uh, violence this Pope is a is a you know is a hypocrite like you my friend he is just being a politically correct what about you quote for me what the Pope before him he said was an honest man he said Muhammad he brought nothing but evil nothing but evil so why you are quoting me this 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 Pope here he learned from the previous Pope when he said Muhammad is an evil man the Muslims start killing the Christians in the Middle East they burn the churches you see how much they knew humanity and in, how much they are nice and friendly so why you don't quote to me what the Pope he said the Pope he said in the year 2006 and you can go and see what the Muslims did in that year how many churches they burn in Jordan in Syria in Egypt okay he said uh, the Prophet Muhammad had only brought to the world things that were evil and inhuman and you idiot you are saying to me the Pope says that Islam have nothing to do with violence how come this Pope is not the one you want to quote because he is honest let us continue and then he make a video in his, his video he say what where is the video? Let us see. <laughs> Sometime I ask myself where this garbage is coming from. <laughs> I cannot find an answer. Sorry, I'm I'm serious. You know, I, sometimes I can I try to find where this garbage is all is coming from. I mean, seriously, where it's coming from? Uh, where is the video? Somebody send me a video. Um, yeah, hold on, hold on. I want to show you a video he made and please guys after I finish don't forget to download the video I'm not going to leave it there for long all right um, let us see Yeah, I will find the video so we can laugh together. Unbelievable. It looked like it's a disease, you know, and people they are infected. And 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 me, a person like me, he have to heal, recover those people from their madness. I mean, after all what happened in the last two year, he did not see that Islam is nothing but violence. How many people been slaughtered and killed? How many Christians been enslaved? How many Yazidi did they been killed? Hmm. Let us see. All right. This is a video made by him. So it's Mother's Day, and there's a passage from a book that I always think about on Mother's Day. And the reason why I think about the book is because it has a really good quote. So the book is called The Blessed Virgin Mary. And it's written by Sheikh Muzaffar Ozak al-Jarahi. And the book is looking at 
the place of the Virgin Mary in the Islamic tradition. You know what the place of the Virgin Mary in the Islamic tradition? It's a very horrible place. If you go to Islamic books, they will say to you that Mary, Allah, he sent her Jibreel, and Jibreel, he made horny, he blew in her vagina. I'm, not, I'm trying to use the word, the nice word, not the word which start with P. And you know what I'm talking about. I'm saying vagina, but the fact it doesn't say that. It says farjuha in Arabic. So he blew into her vagina, and then he made her horny, and then she have orgasm, and then she became pregnant with Jesus, which Allah have the, the sperm inside her already. This is the place of Mary in Islam. In the same time, the Quran said that Mary, the one who protected her pee, which means vagina, what the place of him? You know, Islam, Islam don't consider Mary as something good if you think about it carefully. However, what this guy is trying to say to us, listen carefully. And it focuses a lot on interfaith stuff, but mm -hmm. that's kind of besides the point. Right. Today is Mother's Day. So I want to read you a passage. So, a companion once asked the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, who is the most important person for the soul in Islam? Prophet who is the most important person for the soul in Islam? This is a, this is a false hadith. It does not exist. There is no such a thing. This guy is a donkey. He is just reading what they taught him. He believed what the Muslims believe, what, what they say. He take it for granted, and I will show you that this is not what the hadith is saying in a second. Prophet Muhammad replied in his usual laconic style, and he said, laconic style. The mother. The mother, huh? The companions always pressed Prophet Muhammad for even more wisdom, and they asked him another question. Who is the next most important person in Islam? In Islam, I mean, I'm not going to listen to this. Let's uh, excuse my language to list of this shit. Let us go and see the hadith. First of all, the mother of Muhammad herself, she is going to hell. This is how much Muhammad he respect his mother. I ask Allah forgiveness for my mother, but he he grant me not forgiveness, and he announced that his mother she is going to be burned in hellfire. Secondly, the hadith you are quoting, my friend, if I can call you that, have nothing to do with Islam. Where it says is the word Islam. Where do you see the word Islam? I asked the Messenger of Allah, who is the more? Let us read for me. Who is the one I should be good to? Where is the, the, the most important person in Islam? Where is the word Islam? He said, Your mother. He said, Who else? He said, Your mother. He said, Who else? He said, Your father. And then your neighbors. In the same time, as long you are speaking about respect, Muhammad he said, which means they are filthy. You see, you spoke about a human being is respected in Islam and you are nations. Those who they not, not sorry, which means those who they are not Muslims are filthy, dirty. And Muhammad he said clearly that his mother and his father they are pagan, which means they are najis, they are filthy. Dirty, how oh, he speak about being good to your mother, but yet he call his mother filthy. Same time, my friend, what this have to do with Islam, and what this have to do with anything? Cats, they they are good to their mothers until even they are animals. You know, I mean, the mother she she love her babies. <laughs> it doesn't matter what what creature we are talking about. Mother is a good, you know, that God he created the mother with love. So you will see any kind of animal. The mother is a fantastic person who take care of the babies. Have nothing to do with religion, have nothing to do with Islam. And the Bible make a punishment that the one who insult his parents should be put to death. In Islam, there is no such thing. Which means you can insult your parents and the proof Muhammad himself insulted his parents when he mentioned in this verse that all those who they are mushrikeen, they are najis. Wa inna mal mushrikuna najis, chapter 9, verse number 28. In verse number 29, the prophet who you claim that he is the prophet of humanity, he ordered the Muslims to kill the Christians, to kill the Jews. Oh, who you believe, 
truly the pagans are any clean and here translation is false doesn't say any clean it says filthy najis and here najis not in the meaning of like being najis because you did not take a shower no it's mean it doesn't matter how much shower you take you see this idiot he is teaching us that the prophet was a good person but here the verse saying that there is roads and there is cities where non-muslims are not allowed and this is why if we go right now and search in google you will find that the city of mecca and medina is not allowed for non-muslims to enter why is that because the muslims consider us as a human and equal to them no because they consider us filthy dirty and in the verse after that chapter 9 verse 29 it says fight those who believe not in Allah where is the tribes and humankind who live together and know each other he just said fight those who don't believe from who from the Christians and the Jews specifically until they pay the jizya with willing and submission and feel themselves subdued a stupid idiot he will say to you oh paying jizya in Islam is just paying tax that is a big fat lie and here we don't say things without a proof paying jizya in Islam is a sign of humiliation and disgrace and this is your Islamic scholars in the front of us chapter 9 verse number 29 and we go to Ibn Kathir one of the highest scholars in the cult of Islam let us see together all right so they are not allowed to enter or to, to get a close to the masjid why because they are any clean they are filthy do you see it who are filthy in the religious sense this is a teaching of a humanity to say someone is filthy just because he don't agree with you <laughs> and then we continue and here he continues saying that okay they, they cannot get a closer i don't want to repeat the same thing then we continue about paying jizya will feel themselves subdued all right what does that mean the christians they have to be humiliated not to pay tax as the muslim like to say to you order to fight the people of the scriptures until they give the jizya of the scriptures who the people of the scriptures the christians and the jews why we should Pages which is yeah, why we should be killed for they refuse to embrace Islam. We go down, fight against those who believe not in Allah. Believe what? Not in Allah, not because they are fighting Muhammad from the people of the book. Here can you continue explaining? All right. You can read it all, you know. Paying jizya is a sign of kufr and disgrace until they pay the jizya if they do not choose to embrace Islam. But the jizya is not a tax, remember, it's a sign of kufr. Kufr means filthy, you are a filthy, you are a kafir, you are the enemy of Allah and disgrace. And here he says, willing and submission in defeat, supervision. So, sorry, like you, you will be humiliated and feel themselves subdued, disgrace, humiliated. You see it. And the Muslims are not allowed to honor the people of the Dimma, which means the Christians and the Jews, or elevate them above, above the Muslims. And not only that, they are, for they are miserable, disgraced, and humiliated. Muslim recorded Abu Huraira, the Prophet said, if you see a Christian in the, in the Jews industry, don't even initiate salam to them. And not only that, you have to humiliate them and you have to force them to walk in the narrowest alley. What is the narrowest alley mean? In the old days, the sewage used to be open in the side of the road. So you have to force a Christian or a Jew to walk in the sewage. And this idiot, he is quoting for me, Muhammad. How stupid are you? And yet you claim to be Christian. I would like you guys to download this video and share it in his page. And if you have the gut, this is my message to you. I challenge you to come and debate me for 15 minutes. I guarantee you, I will bring you as a turkey. I will leave you naked without feather. You are no Christian. You are a deceiver and you are possessed by the devil. And I pray for my Lord, the Messiah, to heal you from your illness and your stupidity. You are deceiving the Christians, you idiot. Shame on you. Shame on you. To speak without knowledge so I hope people they can 
recognize the truth and as you see we don't make a speeches the Muslim they quote from here and they're trying to deceive you oh the prophets he said if a man killed a man as if he killed all mankind that verse is speaking about if you kill a man who is a believer if he is a believer but you can kill the Christians and the Jews as you see he's asking them to go and kill them if you want to live you have to pay Muslims this is actually the mafia of Italy started by Islam when the Muslims occupy part of Europe European learned what gang mean you want to live you pay us that is Islam thank you guys for following us and if you like to learn more please go to amazon.com and get any of my books and remember my second book just published it's called Allah and sex and it is an Amazon for those who want to get their copies it's two volume volume number one and volume number two I advise you to read my books my friend don't let any Muslim and don't wait to let a Muslim deceive your child this is why it's better share my videos with your children if your children are like you have a youth children's you know don't wait because they they will be deceived as what happened to this idiot you don't want your son one day start saying good things about Muhammad when it's absolutely a lie. You see, I have no problem to say good things about the person if he's a good person. Why not? But to flood us with lies, Muhammad, he is the was a good man. Muhammad was a fantastic Muhammad, the man of wisdom. Muhammad, he said, kill the black dogs, even dogs. He did not leave them alone. Why? Just because they are dogs. Muhammad, he said that the mothers. The one you are saying the mothers are respected he said most of women they will go to hell when they ask him why prophet we will go to hell he said because you have half a brain you have deficiency in your religion and you have deficiency in your brain you have a lack of intellect and you are telling me muhammad here told you to respect your mother muhammad he told you that your mother is a stupid and the quran and don't allow even the muslim women to witness unless it is witnessing for something is not important like writing a contract about money but in a crime in anything women are not allowed to witness you have deficiency in your religion you have deficiency in your in your intellect in your brain this is what Muhammad said to you. Do you believe really that your mother, she have half a brain? You have a lack of common sense. Do you see it, guys? This is not my words. It's Muhammad speaking. You have a lack of common sense. This is the Muslim translation. By the way, it doesn't say that. It says in Arabic, naqisatu aql. You have less brain. You have a stupid brain. You are stupid. So be good to your mother, but you call your mother stupid? And you consider your mother stupid? And your mother is not allowed to be a witness and your mother she will be from the majority of hellfire all of that because she is a she is a woman do you see how stupid this guy is trying to deceive you this is respect to the mother isn't it this woman is your mother huh and muhammad he proved that they are half a brain because he said well you know what <laughs> even the Quran says that your testimony is a half of, of a man <laughs> uh, you see like and they ask him why prophet we will go to hell he said because you have deficiency in your brain and they said to him the women they said and what is our deficiency of her intellect and and her religion she have two deficiency one in her brain and one in the religion he answered well the the deficiency of your brain is a proven in the quran that you know one woman is two women equal to one man in in the witnessing and the deficiency in religion that you have menstruation have you believe that this is a reason to go to hell he is explaining why she will go to hell because she have a period and you are telling me that muhammad you respect the women and he told you to respect your mother what a stupid donkey thank you guys for being here please download the video share it everywhere and don't forget to share it in the page of this idiot please we have enough of them thank you very much christ is lord islam is false 
and we are here to expose all the liars it doesn't matter who they are it doesn't matter what their color it doesn't matter what their ethnic what they claim they claim to be christian they claim to be buddha they claim to be hindu they claim to be jews they claim whatever they claim the, the lord he said be aware of false teacher they will come to you in a clothes of a sheep but they are wolves be aware my friend thank you very much and god bless bye bye